that poem is the burster of the bow. <laughs> All things will continue the way they have been since the beginning. The same things will be done that have always been done. There is nothing new under the sun. I love people who burst bubbles, don't you? I mean, friends who aren't afraid to tell you the truth, like Dr. Seuss. Or friends who resist trends and are skeptical of this year's TEDx thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? At first, I declined, but in the fullness of time, they asked me to share a poem. Oh. I said about these ideas of mine. Perhaps it will seem less offensive if I strive to make it rhyme. Peep lines. So the truth is, we have a problem. And I wish I could say this was a small problem, but this is a NASA-sized problem. A Mayo Clinic emergency. A Situation Room dilemma. See, this problem, this problem right here, this is a huge type problem. You know, it's something we pray about. Okay, so for you, this news may be new, but the truth that I spew is quite old, too. So, without further ado, welcome to the land of who? He's as charming as an eel. A bad banana with a greasy black peel. Do you need clue steel? His heart is an empty hole with a brain full of spiders and garlic and soul. Lines from a story you were told about a who hated Neanderthal, who hated Christmas, and had a heart two sizes too small. <laughs> you know it all, or so you think. See, now we're on the brink of discovery. Ancient novelty that echoes in eternity. See, the problem is you. See, now we're at the roots. Wait, wait. That messed up Mr. Grinch is me, he is you, and we, the Grinch is all we fear to be, yet with striking similarity, that is what he was. He was one of us until he came to trust the burster of the bubbles. Wouldn't we all stand out in Whoville heaven? with our grumpy moods and our Galaxy Note 7s. Just think if someone knew your thoughts and projected them on billboard charts. Such ingenious technology would be an international catastrophe. Our hearts displayed for all to see. Our secret sins replayed on national TV. No Snapchat filters, just honesty. Honestly, I'd have to quit my job at STC due to the nature of these discoveries. So thank God for protecting my privacy, for I certainly don't look good in green. Grinch, golly, gee, I never compared the Grinch to me and paused to consider the reality that I deserve a penalty for treasonous thoughts, dashedly deeds, when I choose to seek what seems right to me. Ignoring my identity as under God's authority. Oh, Mr. Porter, how offensive indeed. I mean, the Grinch, his whole life was centered around discrimination and hatred. His neighborhood was set up for stewing isolation. Remember, I'm talking about you in this statement. Face it, we would never survive in a utopian Whoville nation. But good news. You don't have to, for God did choose you to make new. Can I get a woo-hoo from a wahoo? <laughs> and did you know that the whole story of how a Grinch stole Christmas took place within a single snowflake? A free-falling flake, it's true. So remember, it's not the size of what you do, but who you do it for that counts all the more. So ask yourself, for who did Cindy Lou Who pursue the Grinch? Okay, yeah, we know she had compassion on him, but ultimately it was for the good of her community. You see, Whoville rejects Grinches like us, but Cindy sought inclusion, quote, Who will tell me why this guy must live so high in the mountaintops of the sky? Hmm. 
They lied. She cried. She died to what her neighbors said was right. She took up the good fight, and she brought Grinches before their eyes. How unsightly, how scandalous, how necessary, how marvelous. The good news is that Cindy Lou would lay down her life to save you, too. Okay, so Cindy Lou, in truth, is is Jesus. You've just got to believe this. And he still saves Grinches in need of repentance, but not just for you, but for the good of our community, too. What is there to show for a lifetime of work? A lifetime of working our fingers to the bone. It's business as usual on old planet Earth. One generation rolls away like a stone, but nothing changes. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Again and again, around and around, the wind blows south. And the wind blows north, around and around, back and forth, but nothing changes. Everything is so utterly boring. Can we even search for truth and meaning without snoring? It vexes. Our sins have supersized Texas before the Mexican-American War, or that ice cream cone I stacked high alone when I was four or more. According to the Huffington Post, the biggest thing in the universe shouldn't exist in the first place. Sin so Do not measure your life in artifacts that you can accumulate in your private stacks. From dust we were formed, and to dust we shall go back. Face facts. All of our achievements and our salary raises, our vacations and our calorie phases changes nothing. No oasis, no salvation, no relation to the God of all creation, just an alluring mirage that nearly everyone chases. Trash compared to the one who is worthy of praises. Grace is amazing. Horn of salvation. Do you hear what I am saying to you? Remember Jesus who gave his life for the joyful redemption and peaceful transformation of a forsaken you, the terror of Whoville. Sweetly broken by Cindy Lou who makes all things new for the good of all. Y'all, we, community, must pray to be freshly troubled by the burster of the bubbles.